Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, Mr. Hector Cabellos, to be followed by Mr. Coach R.J. Bobby Taylor. Hello, my name is Hector Cubillos, and I come here to speak to some emails that I had uh, sent to you guys on scientific studies based on the water fluoridation front, and it's mostly outside ideology. We're going to be talking about the clarification between sodium and calcium fluoride as opposed to fluorosilicates. Uh, I was given an email which tells me that the city of Houston follows the EPA standards of 4.0 parts per million in the water supply. And according to the response that I got, those, uh, it is naturally occurring that it happens to go into the water supply. However, it has been shown that only one, less than 0.1 parts per million are naturally occurring in the water supply. Not only that, what we are actually talking about is fluorosilicates. Fluoride is an umbrella term, meaning there's a lot of fluoride co compounds with different applications. But specifically, the two compounds that I am talking about is, is hexafluorosilicate acid and, and fluorosilicic acid as well. I will give you all the uh, pertinent scientific studies in your in inbox as well. But what is very concerning here is the point, in fact, that the pharma it has been pharmaceutically tested. The, the chemicals that are added in the water are not pharmaceutical grade. So that is very, very concerning. And not only that, it has a compounding risk, especially if you have a lead pipe or you have, uh, if you eat food from the store because the the water leaches into the environment and the food that is grown on that soil compounds and adds the added risk. So there is no effective dosage control. And that is a very hazardous thing. Specifically when we talk about infants, there is a Harvard study that shows that fluoride added to the water in fact lowers the IQ and it causes neurological damage. And we need to really discuss that. Furthermore, Furthermore, I would like to state a quote from the EPA. Where does, where does this fluoride compound actually come from? It comes from phosphate mining, but how does it really, how does it really falter into this? How does it uh, enter into the formula? According to the EPA in 1983, by what, why they say how they get phos um, the fluoride, by recovering byproduct fluorosilicic acid from fertilizer manufacturing water and air pollution are minimized and water authorities have a low cost source of fluoride available to them. Essentially what this is saying is that ag uh, agricultural uh, companies, they mine phosphate and from the, the water vapor that rises is cleaned out and that those hazardous isotopes are sold to the open market and they're sold to municipalities and they add that to the water supply. And Again, I would like to reiterate that this is very concerning because not only is it not pharmaceutical grade, there is no dosage control like I already stated. However, the compounding risk is uncontrollable. So Thank I really you. would like for you to address you. those issues. Thank you. Your time has expired. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Cruz. Okay, Coach R.J. Bobby Taylor.